the BV-155 B1 in War Thunder. Or what is a high altitude fighter, and I thought I'd never say this, is actually one of the best close air support planes in the game. That's just, that's odd. Are you talking shizer? Actually no, I'm telling the truth. And in this video, I get 13 kills in one game, and I'm going to show you how. Okay, hear me out. When the battle pass was added, I saw three vehicles, well two because I don't count boats as one, and this BV-155 was one of them. Thought a high altitude fighter, probably only going to be good for air RB, not good enough content for ground RB, but then I flew it out. And in one game, it proved me wrong. Now a couple of things about this vehicle took me by surprise. First of all, obviously is humongous wingspan, it's almost as wide as a B-17, which is pretty ridiculous. It can turn on a dime. It's very akin to the flight model of the P-59A jet that I did a video on a while ago. This thing is absolutely insane. Now, of course, with it being as wide as, it also rolls slower than your mother rolling out of her bed. And that's to be expected. This thing's wingspan is absolutely gargantuan. It's also very slim as well. And because it's new, it takes players by surprise. And a couple of surprises this thing has in the form of the MG-151 20mm cannons with the mining gashos, which will pretty much one-tap anything out of the sky. And if that wasn't enough for enemy aircraft, we also have an MK-108 30mm cannon that fires out of the nose. Now, a little known trick for anyone who's min in Germany as Cass, the MG-151s, this guy here, has this red round here, which is actually an APHE shell uh, this unfortunately only gets one in this universal belt, but it also has more mining shots in here too. That's 26 millimeters of penetration from that little red round, and it also explodes inside the target, meaning that you can take a Sherman's turret out in one shot. So add all these things up into a weird algorithm, it can pen tanks top down, it surprises enemy fighters, it can take down enemy bombers and other close air support. This thing is absolutely ferocious. Oh, and by the way, anything open top? If that 30mm lands inside, uh, the whole crew is dead with overpressure. This thing is absolutely remarkable. I have no idea how it pulls it off. Of course, it's a German vehicle at 3.7. It's also a premium and you can get it from the Battle Pass, which costs a lot of money for you to get there. I think level 51 you have to get to get this thing. But for collectors and people who like goofy aircraft, it is there. It's just a shame it's locked behind a paywall. Anyway, I bet you're all dying to find out how I got 13 kills in this thing alone. Without dying, by the way. Hey, let's get into battle and I'll show you how I did it. Boy, did I am I glad we took the Puma and got this map. Imagine if we were in anything else, it would take us ages. It's a good map for an aeroplane though. Nothing's coming up this road yet. I'm hearing enemies though. Oh god. This is not good. I don't think either of them saw me though. I kind of want the T-34 dead more than the Sherman. Thank you, Breda. This man's has just gone straight to sea. He's got another guy on the cap with him, though. Problematic. So 105, we have let this bread I take charge right now. Right. That fight was a little bit of a disaster, but at least the bread I didn't die. Or me. Let's get this cap. Right, let's go on air targets and universal because I'm not very good with the stealth belts. Right, I need to be careful because this thing has an absolutely pathetic climb rate. Is that an enemy plane there? Yeah, it is. It is an enemy plane. That is very distracting, War Thunder. Oswin just shot down a P-63. Why are the enemy planes going for our SPA? Oh my god, dude. Movie graphics, right? Well, uh, that just happened. Right, what is this lad? An IL-2? Well, this will be the test of firepower. If he doesn't get smacked by that same Oswin again.
I think this floor ten's about to smack this dude out of the sky. No. Oh no, yeah. Oh my god, this thing turns really well. Oh, it's like a P59A, but a prop. And slow. Really slow. Yeah, well, firepower checks out. Enemy plane coming in. Let's bait him down here. Yep. That is a Spitfire, right? Oh. It's a P40. So, our turn rate is absolutely diabolically good. Is that a, is that a float plane? Oh my god, dude. It was a float plane. The, the B-17. Right, uh... So far, it's pretty good for ground, are we? High altitude in my ass, dude. Can't even claim high altitude, though. Right, there's a... There was a T-55 down there. Oh, there's an open top thing. Don't mind if I do. It's not open top. No, it's a Sherman. That is because it's a truck. Hey, yeah, Chief. I crashed into a rock. I'm getting away from these 50 cows. No, thank you. The guy wants me dead, eh? <laughs> You're not getting me, dude. Where's my teammates calling out? Right between all of them. Oh, an airplane. That's my job. So my engine temp hasn't showed up yet. We'll, we'll get that plane in a minute. My, my roll rate has been severely affected by the damage we've received. Which is definitely an issue right now. Where'd he go? Here he comes. And we're in a thumb fight with a hurricane. Actually, we're about to roll scissors with a hurricane. And I don't think we're going to have much trouble, to be honest. That Oswind is firing at him too, though. Oh, he's dead. Oh, I missed him. <laughs> yeah, this Oswind's going to shoot him down. Absolute chonker. Right, another plane. We don't we don't want to be taking head-ons with stuff. I'm waiting in our buffers or an AEC getting spawned up. Oh, this guy knows what he's doing, dude. I'm not looking forward to this. Or does he? He doesn't see me. Oh, it's a hell diver. If we can roll with this low speed, then we know it turns well. Please do some damage. One five ones. The amount of bits this man is missing off his plane is astonishing. I've got ten cannon rounds left. Okay. I hit him. And there's another plane up, but I've got six rounds. Oh my engine. Well, we're back to hangar, dude. <laughs> we're we're going back to land. My team is not doing so well. This thing is pretty crazy, honestly. My engine has died, though. And, uh... we got quite a ways to glide, honestly. My engine has been black for, like, at least a minute, and we're still alright. I mean, this really isn't the best, but it could definitely be worse. How are we going to make it? Never mind. This is going to be very interesting. Oh. We're sharing quite a big bit of uh, airfield room <laughs> between the two of us.
That was a cool sound. Oh, my wooden props didn't snap. Well, there we go. <laughs> we're, we're getting A and B. That's good news. This guy is shooting at me. Which makes sense with his uh, clan tag name. And there's an enemy playing up. Well, let's go. I don't want to climb too steep because it doesn't climb. <laughs> well, let's see if we can catch this guy on time. I think the 109 is on the enemy plane. Oh, he just got smacked though. And now the enemy's back on A. Are we going to get C back? This climb rate is absolutely awful, by the way. This is not good. We're, we are just basically above ground level when it got when we got to the battlefield and there's still an enemy aircraft. I can see him. He's coming right towards me, but he's not doing very well. I don't think he's got an engine. He's tilting towards a teammate. Some sort of bomber. Okay. Hopefully that shot him down. Yeah, he's going for that murder. Right, this Spubrev 301 is an issue. And I don't know what our murder is fighting that is uh, causing issues. What's our murder shooting at? No idea. I don't see any enemy planes right now. And that thing is a T-34 down there. It is, so I can't do anything to him. And that's a little ASU by the looks of it. Ouch. Oh, it's not an ASU. That's the Pubrov. Right, we got him though. I don't know why I was firing my 30 mils at him. That wasn't very clever of me. Right, he might spawn an aeroplane. Because I have seen him pop up every now and again. Killing a few planes, and this guy is open top. So, is that an M15? It was an M15. Can't damage that, but I tried. Oh, I can. I can knock his engine out. We're getting C back. Churchill's on its way, and I'm not seeing a plane right now. What is that rushing under the cap? Another Sherman, and that's an M10. Crap. Here comes a plane. Right, we will fire our 30 mil. Oh, this. <laughs> the roll rate is not good, as you can imagine, with a wingspan this size. Good stuff. This is actually like a, a highly unexpected good ground pounder. And. Also, with the ability to deal with enemy aircraft quite easily, it's super nice. We're, we're gonna snap this guy in half, dude. I, I told you. Right. Uh, the 105 just killed our Stug. What's firing here? Another Sherman. This is my first game in this thing, by the way. We only got 64 cannon rounds left. But we're getting B back. And there's some enemies left, I guess. Okay, nice job, 410. We're about to lose A. But are we going to equalize B first? I would hope so. Does he still got bombs? He does. Nice, dude. Very nice. Attention where? Back over on C. The last few. We've captured most of the I've got an astonishing amount of kills in this. That Churchill has almost made it to the sea cap, but it's not going to matter. So where's this last guy? 
that I don't know where he is. <laughs> Four ten shooting this guy with his rear gun. Oh, what is that? Is that an SU? 57. There's absolutely no armor. Okay, that's gonna be a nice assist probably. I don't want to fire any more rounds than I already have. <laughs> that guy, that guy using his rear gun is hilarious. Actually, maybe I will take this guy out. Or at least try. Right, now we gotta go back and land though. Let's go. Let's do it. Hopefully no planes though. <laughs> I tried to... <laughs> I tried to let him know that that's game. Damn dude, that is a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage dude. We did actually make a lot of silver lines out of that, which I'm kind of surprised about with it being a premium plane. Uh, so, but, super effective, I can't really argue. <laughs> so it also turns out I have a 13 KD in this thing now. Yeah, that's pretty good <laughs> but all the game right so what's the deal with this thing ground rb it does extremely well it is going to be a perfect anti-cast plane that's for absolutely certain am i going to replace the 109f4 because that thing is four bombs over this probably not but if i feel like being an absolute troll then for sure yes if you're wondering whether it does well in air rb i'm going to point you in direction towards defin he put a video out on this thing yesterday he just focuses on ARB content. Go subscribe to him. The link is in the description below to that video. Uh, go check that out. As always, a huge thanks to everyone over on Discord and Patreon as well. To all the tier 3s who get a shout out. That's Toast McGee, Gigi, Bruff, Frost, Audible, Bo, Bofe, Calvino, Desari, Gifted Greed, Jamie, Marushin, Stoyan, Terabad, The Reformation and Witch Doctor. And to all the tier 3 patrons that Sickness Win, Matthew S, Bugle the Tactical, Broccoli, Eric Fear, Jesse Mills, Witch Doctor, Paul Wendrix, The Taco Guy, Watermelon, Shane, Understorm one, Archangel Ari, Brahmination, Sexy, Ethan, Excavation, Nation, Gift the Greed, Handsome Tatia, Kin the Salt Lord, Coil Metany, Pickle Pirate, Ralph, Rides Tectonic, Thanks Gone Wild, thank you very much. The Reformation, Trash Panda, TV is an Atomic, Vanny and Warpig Shaf, Alicia Mortan and Stoyan, this is totally my name, J Tormy, David Pyrophoric, and Shmoo. And to everyone still here, thank you very much for watching. Much love and bye bye.